Welcome to another episode of Versus Video Series or VS Square. Oh yeah, this is the Warzone Stick Show. This channel is now the IT Fighting Arena. We will make them fight till death so we would know which one is better. There is this video of mine, network engineering is better than cybersecurity. And I saw a lot of comments from that video, mixed reactions actually. Many people didn't agree, but some people do agree. You have to understand, it's just my opinion. I am just sharing my perspective. So your perspective may be different and I don't have access to your experience and views. Well, what we're gonna talk about here is a breakdown of network engineering roles versus cybersecurity roles. And as usual, comment below and shout out your location like nice video Dean from Norway, Brunei, Croatia. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Mexico City, Adelaide, Memphis, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. Let's talk about roles. And here are my top three network engineering roles versus my top three cybersecurity roles. But first, let me talk about this specific role, security solutions engineer or security solutions architect. We will drop this role because this overlaps with cybersecurity and networking. For example, I can be a Cisco security solutions engineer or architect or a Fortinet security solutions engineer or architect. This designs both the network and the security solutions. And just to avoid conflicts and overlaps, let's discard this specialization. So for the network engineering, these are my top three roles. So first is the network engineering that focuses on wired and wireless infrastructure. Most of the time, this focuses on campus or enterprise and edge networking. Next is cloud network engineer. This builds, automates, and even secure hybrid multi-cloud connectivity. And last is data center architect. This designs and integrates hyperscale data center networks. No wireless, mainly involves servers, virtualization, and container networking. And here are the top three roles for cybersecurity. First is the SOC engineer or SOC analyst. This monitors and investigates security alerts, detect intrusions, and manage incident responses. Second is cloud security engineer. This designs and enforces cloud native security controls and compliance frameworks for cloud and multi-cloud environment. And lastly, we have penetration tester or ethical hacker. This performs authorized simulated attacks to identify vulnerabilities and validate security controls across networks, web applications, APIs, and cloud infrastructure. So first round, wireless or network infrastructure versus SOC engineer or analyst. Now the skills for the network infrastructure engineer, this includes RF optimization, Wi-Fi heat mapping, VLAN segmentation, PoE design, and NAT integration. Now, I also need to highlight this also includes professional level routing and switching and SD-WAN and even the basic understanding of network security best practices. Now, for the certifications, we have plenty. We have CCNA, CWNA, CCNP Enterprise, CCNP Wireless. For Arista, we have ACE Specialist and ACE Professional for Campus Track. JNCIA, Miss AI, and many more. Why it matters? With mobile first and IoT environments, reliable and secured wired and wireless networks are business critical. Now, for the typical global average salary, 90,000 US dollars annually. Next, SOC engineer or analyst. Now, the skills for this role include CM, EDR, XDR, NDR, SOAR, what else? Threat Intelligence, Forensic analy Analysis, and some roles include WAF and Next Generation IDS, Next Generation IPS, what else? Uh, SOC Playbook and SON Roundbook, and many others. Now, for the certifications, well, we have a lot, but let me mention some. We have Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate to Professional. Soon to be called or soon to be renamed CCNA Cyber Cybersecurity and CCNP Cybersecurity. We also have Security Blue Team. We have BTL1, BTL2. What else? CSDA, Hack the Box, CDSA, and many others. Why it matters? Because SOC analysts are the frontline defenders, the first to detect and contain cyber attacks. Now, the typical global average salary of SOC engineer or analyst is 80,000 
annually. Now the winner is, for me, it's wireless or network infrastructure engineer. You need to understand this role covers cybersecurity. Solutions like NAC, Next Generation Firewall, WIPs, etc. Second round, Cloud Network Engineer versus Cloud Security Engineer. The skills that you must for Cloud Network Engineers are VPCs or VNets, Transit Gateway, VPNs or IPsec, SD-WAN, Terraform, Security Groups or SGs, and Network Monitoring. What else? Cloud Routing, Direct Connect, etc. Now for the certifications. Well, the top certification of my choice is CCNP Enterprise, specifically with ENCC concentration exam. What else? AWS Certified Solutions Architect, AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty. For Azure, we have Azure Network Engineer Associate. For F5, we have F5 CTS in LTM and DNS. Why it matters? Because many enterprise connects their data center to the cloud and these roles ensure performance, scalability, and security across environments. Data center and cloud environments equal to hybrid cloud. Now, the typical global average salary for this role is $110,000 US dollars per year. Now, we have the cloud security engineer and the skills that you must have for this role, there are plenty, but let me mention some. We have IAM, KMS, encryption, Cloud Security Posture Management or CSPM, Cloud Security Auditing, Infrastructure as a Code Security, Cloud Security Best Practices, DevSecOps, and sometimes even WAF or Web Application Firewall. Now, for, uh, certifications that you need for this role, this includes AWS Certified Security Specialty, Azure Certified Security Engineer, CCSP, DevSec uh, Certified Professional, excuse me, DevSecOps Certified Professional, uh, certified Kubernetes Security Specialist, and many others. And why does it matter, this role? You see, as cloud adaptation grows, cloud security has become one of the most in-demand and highest paying security specializations. Now, the typical global average salary for this role is 130,000 US dollars annually. Now, the winner is cloud security engineer. From this video, you will see that Cloud Security Engineer or Architect roles is one of the best specialization. So this is expected. Okay, third round, Data Center Network Engineer or Architect focusing on network automation versus penetration tester or ethical hacker. Now the skills for the Data Center Network Engineer or Architect, this includes VXLAN, eVPN, our routing protocols such as PHP, OSPF, IS to IS. What else? Leaf and spine architecture. Data center fabric automation. For Arista, we have Cloud Vision. For Cisco, we have Cisco ACI. Network telemetry and segmentation. This may also include network uh, virtualization and network containerization. Now, the certifications. Well, we have plenty again. For Arista, we have ACE specialist or professional in data center. Uh, both level 5 to level 7. This includes ACE uh, Cloud Expert, the expert level uh, certification of Arista. For Cisco, we have CCNP and CCIE data center as well as DevNet uh, certifications. We have Cisco Certified DevNet Associate, Professional, and Expert. Soon to be CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE Automation. We have F5CA, F5CTS in LTM. We have Juniper Data Center certifications, VMware NSX certifications, and even Nutanix certifications. Why it matters? Because Data Center Architects designs the core infrastructure that runs cloud workloads and enterprise applications. One of the highest paying and most strategic networking roles today. The typical average salary or global average salary of this role is 130,000 USD annually. Now, for the penetration tester or ethical hacker, the skills that you need are Kali Linux, Metasploit, Verb Suite, scripting such as Bash or Python, what else? Malware development and analysis, and understanding of MITRE attacks tactics. Certifications, we have a lot. But let me focus on uh, these two vendors or two brands, I would say. Offensive security, we have OSCP, OSWE, OSDP. For Hack the Box, we have CTPS, 
CBBH, but it's now renamed to CWES, CWEE, and many others. Why it matters? Because offensive security testing is critical to strengthen defenses and ensure real-world readiness against evolving threats. Typical global average salary for this role is $110,000 US dollars annually. And the winner is, well, although penetration tester or ethical hacker sounds or looks cool, I would still go for data center network engineer or architect that focuses on network automation. Okay, so let's check the score. Network engineering got two points, while cybersecurity just got one. Our winner is clearly network engineering. Okay, now real talk. Many people believe that cybersecurity as a career is overrated. There are lots of disappointments and many cybersecurity professionals are underpaid and there is a global saturation. Not only that, cybersecurity is no longer the talk of the town. It's no longer the big buzz word. Yes, AI or artificial intelligence is taking the crown. Anyway, do you really believe that there is a shortage in cybersecurity jobs? Let's talk about that in another video.